Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sanko, and today we are doing a tutorial session on how to get blurish removed in Photoshop. So, without much ado, let's get into the tutorial session for today. So, today we'll be talking about the four tools or the four ways to go about removing blemishes in Photoshop. And the first one we'll be talking about is the spot healing brush tool, um, the healing brush tool, the patch tool, and lastly the close thumb tool. Yeah, so these four major tools would actually be used in today's tutorials. Yeah, so without much time, let's get started. So the first thing you will do is because you are doing a tutorial session for um, four major tools. What I'll do is I'll create a background duplicate, which is four duplicates of the background for each tool. Okay, so I will enable the first one. Spot healing. Spot healing. And I'll label the second one. Healing. Healing brush tool. The next will be the patch tool. So I'll name this the patch tool. Patch tool. And the last but not least will be the close thumb tool. So the close thumb. Close thumb tool. Okay. Yeah, so I'll turn off all the three layers and I'll be left with the spot heal brush two layer. So removing blemishes in Photoshop can actually be a daunting task. But then if you know what you're about and which and what tool to use for the task you want to, it becomes a bit easier for you. And it all boils down to editing and editing and editing more. So the first tool we'll be using is the spot healing brush tool. Okay, so the spot healing brush tool, what it, it does is it uses actually um, an inbuilt AI technology to actually um, clean your blemishes for you. So let's see, um, let me hold on. Let me first get an empty layer and circle the blemished areas to be actually tackling today. And let me use, um, let's see, a red, a red brush. Okay, so we'll be removing blemishes from, sorry. We will be removing blemishes. My flow was at 6%, so you couldn't see the results of what I was doing. So what I'll be doing is we'll be removing blemishes from this portion here, over here. So you should be able to identify the areas you want to remove the blemish from over there, somehow here, 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 here. Yeah. Okay. This area over here. 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 I can see some small patches here too. And also when you move to the chain area, you can be doing a bit of blemish here. And here too. So basically, these are the areas we'll be, we'll be working on with regards to the blemish, blemish removal. So just as you should be able to identify the areas you want to work on and know the tool you want to use for such um, tasks. So that the first will be going with our 10 of this layer here, 10 on the spotty link layer i'll get back to my foreground color to blap and switch to the spot healing brush tool which is this one 
and on the sports healing layer this is how i said what the sports healing brush to does is actually uses an ai an inbuilt ai technology to actually um clean blemishes on the skin so all you have to do is to paint over the blemish area and voila it is gone just paint and also make sure the brush size you are using is mostly um, always the exact size of your blemish so we just have to paint over the blemish and that will be it and it is gone just paint to wear it it is gone just paint to wear it i see this um strand of hair i'll just paint to wear it and voila it's gone just paint to wear it 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 and it's gone so all the spot healing brush to that is to actually um use the ai technology to remove blemish the only disadvantage with the spot healing brush too is that you leave the software to actually think and do its own thing you don't have control over where it samples from exactly so that's how it works with the healing sorry the spot healing brush too and if we are supposed to check the before and after here is the before and here is the after the before and the after so you could see that there are some portions that um, the blemish sorry the skin textures were not retained because you actually left it all for the software to actually think and do its own thing so the next tool for today would be the healing brush tool with the healing brush what it does is basically um it's hammer manual you you and the editor or the retoucher you have to actually do everything yourself by pressing alt to sample a clear area around sorry press alt to sample a clean area sorry i didn't change mine too so you have to use the come here and switch the healing brush tool and after you are done switching press alt to actually sample a clean area and you paint over over it this way sample a clean area sorry it's happening on the spotting in brush that, that was why it wasn't working that's one thing about layers too so you have to move to the healing brush too so what you have to do is to sample and clean sample and clean sample and clean sample clean sample and clean you sample and you clean sample and clean there's a bit of control when it comes to using the healing brush to sample and clean sample and clean sample and clean sample and clean sorry one thing about the healing brush too is whilst it's not that well you get to actually ruin your image okay sample and clean sample and clean sample and clean yeah so that's how the healing brush tool also works you sample and you clean sample and clean sample and clean sample clean sample clean so when you are working on your blemish you actually know the kind of tool to use for which tax yeah you sample and clean so that's how basically the healing brush to also work so let's see um a quick before and after of the work it did so that's before and that's after before after so let's move to the next two which is the patch two okay so the patch two is a day two for today and what it also does is it also uses um an inbuilt ai technology to actually do your cleaning for you but then this one sort of worked differently by just circling around the blemish this way sorry 
circling around the blemish this way and dragging to a clean area to actually get the blemish removed. So we just circle around the blemish, move it to a clean area and it is removed. Exactly. So that's how the patch tool really works. If I was supposed to really work on um, this image, the tools I would have used would have been um, the the healing brush tool and the glue stamp tool. Because with that, you get to actually get control of uh, the skin textures. And because this is sort of um, a close portrait, uh, we should also pay attention to details. If it was to be a full body, I wouldn't mind to use um, the sports healing brush tool and the patch tool in addition. So that's how the patch tool works. You just circle around the blemish you want to remove and you just drag it to the clean area circle around then you drag circle around drag circle around you drag circle around drag you circle around and you drag circle around and you drag circle around we drag circle around and you drag the patch tool could be a very <laughs> easy way of actually removing blemishes but you should know when to use it mm -hmm. so you just circle around then you drag circle around drag circle around drag circle around drag circle around drag you see actually doing a decent job here not bad not bad at all circle you drag you circle you drag circle and drag circle and drag why do you take your time and do your blemish rule well? It actually saves you a lot of time with your subsequent steps to retouching. Because a clean blemish rule still actually guarantees you of being quick with your edits. Exactly. So, so you circle around the blemish and you just drag this way circle around you drag so basically that's how the patch tool also works so let's see a quick before and after that's before after before after okay so the next two for today is going to be the close down that was going to be the last two for today and the shortcut for the close down to is s how this one also works with um it also works by sampling the clean area close to your blemish and painting over it but then there are some tips to using the clean stamp to actually do your cleaning the, the first thing you should check is you should make sure you are using the softest brush possible so if your hardness is somewhere here drag it all the way down to 20 and also use your soft round brush for this um blemish removal stage or blemish removal process and also make sure because you are using a close time to make sure you are not using anything above with a flu you are not using anything above 20 percent exactly so what you do is um, you just have to sample close to your sample close to your your blemish and you paint over it this way you sample you paint over it you sample, you paint over it. Sorry. You sample, paint over it. Sample, you paint over it. Sample and paint. You sample and paint. You sample and paint. You sample and paint. So the cruise num tool actually gives you uh, more control over the skin textures gives you more control over the skin textures gives you more control over the skin textures gives you more control just that it's time consuming because 
uh, the past two would have actually done a quick a quick job by just circling and dragging but with this one you would have to sample and clean and that's really time consuming but it's worth the time so you sample and clean sample clean sample and clean sample and clean sample and clean sample and clean guys so if there is any technique you've learned or some something you'd want to share with us we are trying to build a community here so all you have to do is to leave your comments and your suggestions in the comments area and we, we get to form a very big community get to form a very big community so using the close thumb to one thing i really i really see is that it actually leaves um, some patches of dark areas on the skin but then this can be really solved with using dodging and burning yeah with dodging and burning um, it's a technique used for retouching and i will do an intensive video or tutorial on on the dodging and burning technique on the dodging and burning technique so we are going for a very big family so guys if you haven't subscribed yet um, do us a very big favor by subscribing sharing to other guys in this space and the way to the top is always from here so we just sample and clean, sample clean, sample clean, sample and clean. And not forgetting, um, my makeup artist also did a very good job by um, giving me this nice flawless beat for my client. And also, you know, uh, uh, my client also has a good skin, so I wouldn't have to bother much doing a lot of blemish over and wasting much time on that so be mindful of the makeup artists you use for your projects and your clients and also have a, a client with good skin like mine uh, just jokes okay okay so this is just a quick a quick blemish while with the close down to and let's have a look at the before and after of of the whole process so that's before after before after so you can see it did a very decent job before and after okay so guys we draw the curtains on today's um on today's tutorial session here and don't forget to subscribe, hook smash that like button, and also um, leave a comment. If you don't have anything to say, just leave a fire emoji or any emoji in the comment section. And also don't forget to also share to creatives are like, yeah, we are from a very big community. Subsequently, I'll be doing videos on my behind the scenes on, I will be starting lighting session very soon. And uh, Tali, we are going to really form a very big family. So thanks for watching this video and on to the next one, we go talk Charlie. Peace.